Hi everyone, about a minute on why this time the nuclear revival is real. I just got back from Washington, D.C. I was there for three days this week. I attended meetings that were sponsored by the Nuclear Energy Institute and the International Atomic Energy Agency, and the optimism at those meetings uh, was very real. Um, there is a feeling that the nuclear renaissance this time, some are calling it the new paradigm, is real. And I tend to agree, I think, that this time it is real. Why? Well, there are several factors. One is the global energy crisis. Uh, countries and companies are, look, are looking around the world and seeing high natural gas prices, high oil prices, and it looks like those prices will be sustained for some time to come. And then second, there's the issue of energy security uh, in the wake of Russia's invasion of Ukraine, with Russia potentially being out of the export game for hydrocarbons of all kinds. Energy security is top of mind for countries and, and, and companies all around the world. And then finally, there's the issue of, of carbon dioxide and climate change. Change. Um, this has become a big issue, uh, particularly for various companies. Um, one of the key examples of this is Dow, the big chemical company, announcing that they are planning to build uh, a small modular reactor at one of their Gulf Coast uh, petrochemical plants uh, with a plant that is designed or a reactor designed by X Energy, which is a very intriguing design. Uh, it's a helium cooled uh, high temperature gas reactor. So that's just one example. Uh, it, other examples abound. TerraPower Science an agreement on Thursday at the International Atomic Energy Agency's meeting uh, pledging to look at five new sites in the western U.S. with Pacific Corp, the utility that would allow Pacific Corp to replace its existing coal plants with nuclear reactors, the natrium reactor designed by TerraPower. Uh, Poland just announced it's going to uh, use Westinghouse designed reactors for as much as three gigawatts of new capacity in Poland. I, I could give you many, many more examples of positive traction in the nuclear sector, and it's, in my view, long overdue. Uh, if we're serious about reducing CO2 emissions, we have to get serious about nuclear, and we have to get serious straight away. So a lot of encouraging things that happened this week in Washington, um, and I think that traction is going to continue uh, because so much is at stake, and the world needs more electricity. It needs more high-temperature heat for industrial processing, and the nuclear reactors, in particular, the new designs of nuclear reactors can fit fill that void um, and do so in relatively short order if we get the proper financing and regulatory regimes in place. Okay, thanks for tuning in. Uh, click the link in my bio for more about me. Like, share, follow for more content like this. Thanks a lot. See ya.